for a second. Damn, that's a lot of food. You about to be eating for seven business days. By the time you finish eating, the Transformers gonna be walking around here. It's funny cause the couple laughing at you at the end, but you dead ass serious. They lucky you ain't bring your own damn bowl. They wouldn't have been able to eat. Then you got the nerve to top it off with some lettuce like you don't got the whole damn restaurant in your bowl. Look like you about to eat a big ass bush. Ain't no damn reason you should be tucking food in your bowl like you putting a fitted sheet on a king mattress. Nigga stuffing carrots and lettuce in his bowl like he fucking doing laundry. The craziest part about it is I want to know where the restaurant is. I need to take a visit. I don't condone gluttony, you know what I mean? But if they letting this slide, then they need to let a brother slide too because he got food for the rest of the year. This nigga's children's children got food. This man has generational food. That cannot be all for you, sir. You must be feeding the neighborhood. Are you neighborhood watch? If Uber Eats was a person, this man took all the food. I know DoorDash crashed as soon as he swiped his car. I am disgusted, let alone quite intrigued how he made this happen. Now, I'm not sure if he worked there, damn it, but I done seen an employee meal before, and it's not about nothing. His ass must be top dog in charge. Who is he? The CEO?